Kent Adams here, and welcome to the new Pulse and the new set. Uh, it's 2021. Whatever happens this year, it's got to be better than last year, okay? We have a hope that we know we're not going to open up things in 2020 because that's past. Let's have hope for 2021. I hope you and your family are doing well. Your business is up and running, and uh, good things are happening. Um, my guest today is going to be Scott Cook from Ambrosia Bistro, and we're going to talk with Scott about his concerns and about how he's surviving because those in the food business have had to be a little bit creative, as you know, and there's been a big push in Spokane to, to, uh, to at least drop by and pick up food and, and so forth. So we'll talk all about that next on the Pulse of Spokane. We believe every person is created in the image of God with immeasurable beauty and worth that people should not be defined by their present condition or past mistakes. We are all broken. We need each other. Healing for our brokenness begins with connection, with understanding how much we are loved by a good God. And with healing comes change, the potential for joy and meaning. No one was created for mere survival on the streets, for an existence blurred by mind-numbing substances. Each person is created with a purpose, a unique gift no one else can offer the world. Our job is to help them rediscover it. Real people, real change, Union Gospel Mission. Well, welcome back. Scott Cook, how are you this 2021? Uh, I'm good. Good. Uh, thanks for the invitation. I appreciate it. Uh, good to have you here. Uh, we were talking before we went on about where you're located. Let's start with letting people kind of zoom in because we okay. all kind of know where the, the shopping center is okay. that you're in. And then people can kind of start to go, I remember yep. seeing that. So, so we're in Argonne Village okay. um, on the corner of Montgomery and Argonne. Yes. Um, in the Argonne Plaza. Right. And there's a big rotunda of billboards on the west end. And we're yes. directly underneath that building. Ah, okay. That rotunda, okay. So. Okay. Tell, tell me, I got to know this. What kind of food do you serve? So we're considered a new American restaurant. Okay. So we'll do a little bit of everything. So, okay. I mean, you can see things from Asia, Europe, uh, South America, Africa. We've basically done it all. Really? Yes. Now, how long have you been doing this? Uh, 14 years. Here so, in Spokane? Here in Spokane. We opened in December of 2006. Okay. Uh, how were the first couple of years? Uh, you know, we kind of had a slow start because yeah. of where we're located. Under that billboard, we're a little hard to see. Yeah. Um, but people in the valley, when we first opened, people in the valley said, there's no way you're going to make it. The valley's only going to... Uh, support chain restaurants they yeah. don't want anything fancy <laughs> or you know and your, your name says wine bar so yeah. you know they're not people and we've had uh, a lot of success a lot of local people Good. a lot of regulars um we started out to be the neighborhood restaurant okay and that's kind of what we are Good. so Good. yeah it must be very difficult right now being the neighborhood restaurant and not having your your friends right your it patrons is. it is because they are your friends it is yes. uh, when you see them yeah, a, a few times a month or a couple times a week, and so forth. Right. Um, how's that? How's that affecting your business? Number one, and how's that affecting you and your staff? Well, the the big thing for us is that since we've been there 14 years, um, we've had we have four employees that have been there since before we opened. Oh, okay. And uh, three of the four are laid off. Oh, okay. So I mean, I've had to lay off about. 70% of my staff. Yeah. And uh, since they'd been there a long time, some of them have kids, whatever, they, they decided to, to step back. And, but, you know, it's, it's been really, really difficult not having those same people. I don't work in the restaurant because of health issues. Okay. So my, my wife, Kara, and my son, Tanner, run it. Okay. Um, but we've closed the first two weeks. Yeah. Um, yeah. When the governor said, you know, we closed down, you can do to go. We closed it down because we wanted to stop the spread. Right. But after the, after the two weeks turned into, well, it's going to be now another month. And we decided <laughs> to open for to go. Yeah. Um, and it, it's, it's been slow. My food doesn't necessarily translate to, to go very well. Okay. Everything's done a la minute, you know, pan sauces made fresh to order. So right. on and so forth. So, but my guests have been 
absolutely amazingly supportive. Good. Um, it's, you know, the, the tips that they're giving to the servers are incredible. The, just the support that they give us. Yeah. Um, we had a vandal come by and break out our front door window. Oh, no. And one of the guests offered to pay for it. Oh. And, you know, so things like that. Um, you know, that's the good thing. If, the, if you can find any good thing in, right. in what's going on is um, I think it's awakened a lot of people, especially in a, yes, we're a metropolitan area and I get all that, but we're still a town. Right. Okay. Whether it be the valley or the city, is Spokane itself, we're still a town. Right. We're all in this together. And, um, and people want to help. Right. And uh, it, it, it's amazing. I think they often look uh, for, okay, how can I help? Mm -hmm. Obviously, they did in that. Right. Well, and, and uh, Spokane is that way. Yeah. They are ready to rally behind a cause. Yes. And so, um, you know, the, the gentleman that does the restaurant meals. and Yes, I mean, Rick. I, right. I yes. saw yesterday he collect, he's collected $250,000. Yes. yes. That's amazing. Absolutely you know. is. Absolutely is. And uh, uh, in fact, I was inviting him on for the program after this oh. uh, today. And, and he was on a few, a few weeks ago. And he said, Kent, I've got still a few restaurants to hit. We've stopped collecting, but we've got a few restaurants right. to collect. And he's back working on his master's degree at Gonzaga. Oh. He says, I need to do some work for the nonprofit that I get paid from, too, <laughs> you know, and, right. and, and, and so forth. And he said, Frankly, Kent, I'd love to come on, and I will in a few weeks. I'm exhausted because he's been running that probably 15, 16 hours a day. Right, yeah. You know, and he's done a great job. Yeah. And uh, so I want to congratulate him again and, 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 and so forth. But it has. I think it's uh, um, uh, it, it been amazing. Uh, it kind of made me chuckle a little bit when Chick-fil-A opened and the – backlash from oh, yeah. a lot of people on yeah. Facebook was nice, I guess, but, uh, you know, even though it's owned by somebody locally and, 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 you know, and all of that, it's still a national right. company versus, no, my first priority are those mom and pop operations where hopefully they can stay in business. Right. And I don't, I don't know how many like you I've talked to that have been saying what you said about your employees and so forth that's the hardest isn't yes. it oh yeah yeah, it, yeah. It, to the point where many of them water up when they talk about yeah. the wonderful employees they've had in your case 14 years right okay that's dedication yeah okay to be part of that team and so forth and to know the impact you know and and, and some of the folks have told me i may go out of business i may go bankrupt my worry is my six people or my eight people or whatever that have stuck through all the starting up of a business and, and so forth. Um, well, yeah, we've done, we've had people come in and then they bring their kids and then yes. the kids get married and we've catered their weddings. Oh, and, fun. And now the, they, they've had kids and they bring their children in. I and, love it. You know, so we're on the third generation in some cases of wow. people that have come in. Wow. We have people that take the servers golfing and, you know, do different things and it's it's been See, pretty amazing that really is community right and i've often talked about uh how we come together we're in this town in this community about one step away from getting a hold of anyone yeah okay if i don't know them you may right or somebody i know knows them okay right. and the same coming this way and restauranters will help restauranters you know and and so forth um, we step up to help each other in this community. And I think of what, what's it like in Seattle or Los Angeles or some of the big communities? You know, you don't know maybe your competition down the street, but beyond that, right. who do you know? Right. You know, here the competition will even help you. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and I'm sure you've gotten calls at times. Okay. Tell me what your secret oh, is. Oh, yeah. You know? Or, and you, you say, hey, yes. I'm out of this product. Can you, can you spare this? Or, exactly. You know, I, we get that all the time. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 What gives you the most joy of, of 14 years of success? Uh, knowing that we have people that come in the restaurant. If I'm, if I, if I walk through the restaurant at any given time, probably 80% of the people that I see have been there within the last week or two. Really? Um, so they like what we do. Yeah. Uh, you know, they enjoy our product. I, we never set out to be this, you know, big behemoth or this, right. you know, 
to, to open multiple restaurants and the guys that do like, like Adam Hegstead. Yes. I don't know how he does it because I don't think he ever sleeps because he's <laughs> so busy and I yeah. can't, I'm too old to do that anymore. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, let's not talk about old. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's walking through the restaurant and seeing the same faces and, yeah. and saying hi to them and, you know, knowing that, that, that they like what we do yeah. and that, that it's supportive. And the the greatest thing for a restaurateur is to walk through and see somebody give somebody a bite of their food and say, you've got to try <laughs> that this. That means something. Yes, yeah. that does, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, if I'm going to order something from there, tell me the top one or two or three specialties that I should try. So we've had a Cajun pasta that's been on the okay. menu since day one. Oh, um, okay. Uh, I, if so I, apparently that's still still successful. If I if I took that off, I think people would probably hunt me down. Um, <laughs> we have a, an apricot curry chicken. Okay. That's served with an apricot rice. That's super super popular. Um, our ahi salad is super popular. Um, there's all kind. You know, we've had a lot of things on. We've we've taken things off depending on the chef, and we've we've right. had you know some chefs that have been there long term. Right. Others that have you know been just kind of fleeting. But we've learned something from everyone. Yeah. Um, our menu is really condensed right now just yeah, because so it doesn't I would make imagine. any sense to, it's that way to have the, the yeah. a hu- not that we have a huge menu to begin with, but, um, you know, it just doesn't make sense to keep a lot of product on hand right, right now. So right. my business in 2019 was down about 40%. Wow. So, okay. and I'm actually probably doing better than a lot of people are. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it, it's, it's kind of disheartening to see, you know, McDonald's and, and, some of those restaurants that the, yeah. the drive through is full, you yes. know, 24 hours a day or however long right. they're open. Right. And then, you know, and we're stuck at, you know, sometimes doing two or $300 a day. Oh, true. Um, true. But we'll get through. Yeah. Um, you know, we've been there a long time and have, like I said, we have a great base. And yeah. Now you didn't put a tent out or anything like that. No, because we just don't really have space. Yeah. We were going yeah. to put in, uh, put up some uh, tarps. Um, on the patio, okay, but we don't have a ceiling or a roof, so so you know, what's the point? So yeah. at, at this point, I've it sat really... at a couple of places in town where, even with the sides and the roof and everything, and with the heaters, used I still wear a sw- shirt, sweater, right. and a winter jacket, right? You know, right? And and would you, and when they when they ask, would you like coffee? Yes, quickly. You know? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, and we're not a we're not. I don't consider us a restaurant where you just go to eat. Okay. We're a restaurant where you go to dine. You go to enjoy okay. yourself. You have a nice glass of wine or a yeah, cocktail okay. and, and food. And, and, and it isn't about the, you know, I just need fuel. Right, right. I, right. I need more fuel for my soul yeah. to come to my restaurant. Well, so. you know, what I miss the most is is uh, uh, having coffee with and having lunch meetings and so forth with a client or a sponsor or some things like that, that, you know, you get out of your own business and out of here and you get a chance to have a meal, right. have a conversation and, 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 and so forth that, um, I think most of us are people. Yeah. Yeah. People, you know what I mean? We right. like to have a, have a talk and, and sitting in a place shivering is not as right. comfortable as right. sitting at a booth or a table and right. having a relaxing meal. And, and it's, it's hard to have a meal over a zoom meeting and, uh, and yeah. you know, so yeah. Yeah. Even during that, it was funny because Vinny, who's running the program here, uh, introduced me to to Zoom back in January. Little did we know where things were going. And I said, yeah, I need to learn that one of these days. Well, then in March, of course, we all learned. Right, <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, and we get, uh, if we're meeting tomorrow, Kent, are we doing it on Zoom or am I coming to the station or are you coming here? Questions that never would have thought of asking right, yeah. before. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm, my my concern is that people are going to get a little weird and not want to be around each other. Yeah, you know that's got to stop. Too. I, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I mean you have to take precautions. Um, we ask some of our people when they come in if they want to wear a mask, come in. When they're on the air, prefer not. It gets muffled. They don't really get to see you. Right. I don't know how many people I've walked by downtown that I probably knew, but I didn't because I could only see. I saw a T-shirt last night that had a picture of somebody on it and it said that's me with an arrow <laughs> pointing out i thought that that's was funny. creative yeah. i might have to get that yeah but um okay so how many days a week and what are your hours so we're that? open right now tuesday through saturday okay 11 to 8 okay um that may change depending on what the government's <laughs> rules are yes um coming out supposedly this week yeah um we may 
not do lunches during the week because it's been pretty slow because a lot of the businesses around us are doing Zoom things and they're not coming in for meetings. Right, and, right, and, right. You know, right. and then, uh, so we'll see how that how that plays out. I'm, I'm hoping that since the cases are dropping that and that the vaccines are coming out, that he opens us up at least a little bit. Yes. Um, but if know. not, I'm afraid to say what may happen to more businesses. Oh, and I town. think there will be more clothes yeah. if, if he doesn't open us up pretty yeah. soon. Yeah. So, and yeah. I understand that they're in a situation that's never been, never happened before and nobody knows how to deal with yeah, it. Yeah. But if you, if you're, if you're my age, if you're my wife's age, uh, uh, if you're our oldest son, who's 50, who lives with us, who's down syndrome, subject to mm -hmm. bronchitis and pneumonia and things like that, uh, you just have to be careful. Right. And you don't go out as often or you do pick up. Right. And so forth. Uh, f for most of the population out there, if they wash their hands and do the, the proper things, they're probably pretty darn safe. Right. And, and we've got to get back to where because my concern is the second virus that I've talked about for eight or nine months, which is the, the, the depression and yep. suicides and some of the other things uh, uh, coming our way. And so we have to have a reasonable balance right. here. Um, well, and you can walk through a grocery store and touch everything. I know, I know. And, you know, but you you can't come into my restaurant where the servers are wearing masks and it, and everything is sanitized, yeah. you know, multiple times. Before you got in the to the table, it was sanitized. As soon as you leave, it's sanitized. Yeah. Door handles are sanitized. Everything's sanitized. One of the pizza owners here in town, um, um, Mark, I can't think of his name, uh, David's Pizza. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he said, Kent, it's never been more sanitized than it is now. Right. Oh, this yeah. is when, when you would come in and half the tables were, he said, my, my, my servers and so forth go and redo a table and clean it if there's not a customer. I mean, it's never been better. Right. You know, yeah. and yeah. so we got to get back to where at least half the facility is open again, if not more. Right. You know? Yeah, I, I agree. And yeah. I, I hope that's what's going to happen. Yeah. I'm I'm not holding my breath. I'm, I'm, none so. of us are. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Scott, again, the name of the operation is? Ambrosia Bistro and Wine Bar. Okay. 9211 Out. East Montgomery Avenue. Okay. Okay. Am I allowed to say it's kind of across the street from the Longhorn? Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay, because I think a lot of people know where that is. Right, yep. They may not know about the new business coming into your facility there n next to you and so forth. Right. And, and so forth. But, yeah, I'm going to have to come visit. Well, I hope you do. Okay. We have great food. Let's, let's get great that wine. place open so I can sit down and eat. All right. Well, All right. I appreciate you inviting me. Thanks All right. very much. Good to have you. Thanks. thanks. Thanks a lot. And thanks for watching the Pulse of Spokane, everybody. Have a great start to 2021. Thanks for watching. Ask the host a question, recommend a guest, or check out any of our other programs on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or SpokaneTalksMedia.com. Sponsored by Local 29 Firefighters Union, Well-Dressed Walrus, and Homes for You.